Um, yeah. Very important work to be done in every, well, ooh, another radiolarian, I don't know, radiolarian thing. Looks like a little um, Mind flower. Mind orb. Yeah. Kind of looked like a cartoon, like flower, like the flowers you would make when you were in like second grade and they had like four petals. It looked like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the ocean is so important and not enough work. Well, a lot of work is going into it now, but um, for the longest time, shallow water was the biggest priority. And now we're learning, hey, maybe all parts of the ocean are really important and we should be looking at them. And there's a siphonophore. Well, it kind of looks like it has like a central, I don't know, too hard to see. Oh, you know, I forgot whales were a thing. <laughs> okay, guys, just disregard me. Midwater is really important. It has a lot of stuff in it. Sorry to the person that keeps correcting me. Thank you for that, though. Oh, <laughs> some sort of eel, <laughs> a really fast one. We probably spooked it. Part of the midwater biodiversity. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, and someone asked um, a bit ago, what's like the biggest thing that we've seen? I mean, whale sharks are pretty big. Have we, have, has Nautilus seen humpback whales? Uh, I think there was like a baby whale. It was a was sperm a whale in the Gulf of Mexico like oh, okay. seven or eight years ago, yeah. Okay, so whales. Uh, yep, that was probably the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen plenty of um, like uh, sea lions and oh. sometimes when we're near the surface, sharks, yeah. Cute. Um, We've seen a lot of small things. We had a whale shark uh, last year. Are. I think we've seen a mola mola. What's that? Big. Oh, sunfish. Yeah, they're they're pretty. Those wild. are so wild. Yeah, I think they're really old. That was going to be one of my like suggested like favorites but they're really awkward too <laughs> yeah they're bizarre <laughs> you're so interesting people saying skinny long midwater fish scabbard fish i can't scabbard. say we've ever seen an oar fish they're kind of weird too oh yep yeah. oh what is that scabbard fish. I'm oh <laughs> yikes some well, nightmare. looks like a delicacy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yike. I mean, from what we saw, that looks pretty on point. I know virtually nothing about fish. So, all help in that area I can get is great. <laughs> but... I have a fun fact about the sunfish. Yeah. 
They're actually one of the most ad evolutionary advanced fish. Yeah. Um, if you look at how fish have evolved, they've gotten more, at first they get more complex and then they get simpler. So sunfish and triggerfish are the most advanced yeah. as far as we know. It's cool. Yeah, I mean, just looking at it, like you have to assume it's from way long ago. Um, it's interesting how they look. Also, uh, no, I think I'm wrong. How about uh, a coelacanth? Have you you know what that is? Oh yeah. Uh, ask me how to spell it, and I couldn't tell oh, you. Oh boy, C O E L A N. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. No A. That's not that bad, actually. <laughs> yeah. These are so old. Um, let's see. I want to do a comparison while we're just floating, ascending. They're funny looking, huh? Hmm? They're pretty funny looking. I know. It's so odd. Oh, what evolution will do to you. Coming up pretty quick, huh? What are we at? Yeah, we're gonna have a delay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Sorry, you can't hear me. I'm going to start driving the ship ahead early uh, mm -hmm. to try and cure it, but I might have to stop and drive them around. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I think we have plenty of time. No, I'll. Oh. 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 God. I'll wait till 400 <laughs> meters. That's plenty. Oh. That little thing had wings. <laughs> <laughs> just like gave a little flap. Can you Actually, slow the winch down fish. to like uh, 19 meters per minute? And I'll try and work this with the, with the ROV. I wonder. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to do any of this. Oh. Who are they talking to so early in the morning? What was that? I don't know. Also, probably the East Coast. Given that it's yeah, like it's morning. Yeah, it's eight, Actually, so not. Yeah. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe. True, it's 9.15. Oh yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that could be proper yeah. K through 12 time. Oh, great, thank you.
some questions coming in. I'm not sure you know the any the answers to to the anemone that was sampled last dive make it to the surface in one piece. Do you remember seeing the anemone? Um, yes, if it was the one that um. Trying to think, if it was the fly trap one, then yes, it did. Um, I think that was the only an enemy we had. Yeah, that's right. I remember seeing the fly trap. Yes, it did make well. it in one piece. Um, yeah. And it's already processed and ready to go. Great. Um, was it attached to a coral? Yes. Um, it was a lot going on in <laughs> that one little piece. Yeah. Um, because I think we had brittle stars on it as well. Um, but yeah, all of it was still attached. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it might have been on a crinoid or a coral. Yeah, I can't remember. I have the picture in my phone. Oh yeah, it was a... Um, oh, it was on a coral. It was on a coral. Yeah. And it did have a brittle star. Yeah. That was a nice So, nice yeah, piece. it all came together and it's all packed up. Nice. So, that, yeah, all of our samples will be um, shipped back to the Museum of Comparative Zoology at Harvard. And the scientists that requested them or other scientists would be able to request um, access to subsamples of those specimens and can work on in their lab. Hi, Chris. Yeah, it's cool that our viewers on Nautilus Live uh, sometimes remember more than we do on the ship because we have to sleep sometimes and yeah. we can't be awake <laughs> for every dive. So I have to do my little puzzle sometimes. Oh. Um, um, I'm hoping always a chance of another oceanic white tip shark. I know I want to see another one so bad. I just want to see any type of fish, squid, anything. <laughs> they did see a, a squid, um, like a pink squid. Oh, yeah, sometimes we see squids near the surface and they ink us. <laughs> <We> yeah, <laughs> there were some the squids, camera. I want to say last dive. Um, did you guys address the anemone question? Yes. We yeah, we did. We did um, get that. Did. Yeah. It was on a primnoid. Yes, it was on the primnoid. Uh, primnoid. Primnoid. Primnoid, yeah. Primnoid. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> primnoid, <laughs> primnoid. <laughs> it's all the same thing. They're all, all the same, same area. thing. <laughs> same thing. They're all in the ocean. The two reason I mentioned they saw fossils in one. Oh, what? No, they didn't. Fossils in one of the carbonate outcrops. That's so cool. Oh, wow. Not that I know of. They didn't mention it. Too. I wish they would have collected that. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe it, it wasn't. It was yeah, movable. Not a collectible piece. Well, we grabbed two of them, so maybe we'll find a fossil <laughs> in those. You never know. You never know until you break one. Yeah. Um, but okay, I think. What type of fossils would it like? Would you find in the ocean? Would it be like just like hard shell things usually? Yeah. So. The, the top of this seamount was once at sea level, near sea level. Mm -hmm. So some of these rocks were, uh, you know, part of a, you know, shallow reef or beach or uh, coastal environment. And um, when an animal dies near a reef or in carbonate sediments, its uh, skeleton can get preserved and it becomes a fossil. So I guess you pretty much see anything you you know you'd find in a shallow lagoon, um, fish, small fish, 
um, maybe some plants. I wish I could show screenshots too. That would be cool to see. Man, if people could submit images, <laughs> that would be quite the show. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deepest you guys have dived? This this expedition, I yeah. think, uh, twenty eight hundred. I want to say for this expedition. Whoa. Okay, now that Katie is here. Oh, um, good God. <laughs> I don't know if I like the start of this sentence. No, I, I have to go help Leela with the samples Thanks. because she cannot write right now. So um, I'm going to yeah. check downstairs and see if they need help there. So in case I'm not back, that's where I am. Oh, man, you are leaving me. I'm going to get... So sorry. We're going to get in so much trouble up uh -oh. here. I have to leave in a few no. minutes, too. <laughs> Y'all, what am I going to be doing uh, up here? Uh, Just singing like Jimmy Crack Corn or what? <laughs> oh, we're, we're, we, no, we've been I got 500 meters to Lo go. Loopy, Loopy well, can answer questions. Okay. To Loopy. The, to the best of my ability. <laughs> okay, Loopy. <laughs> so the question I asked everybody last night, what is your favorite mineral? A mineral? Yeah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> starting off. See, this is why y'all shouldn't leave me up here. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> MSG. <laughs> it's all right. Chris said water. And I was like, I don't, I was like, I don't want to say anything. Mineral but then, water. Yeah, the mineral water. And I was like, all right. So then we we're like, okay, ice, frozen ice. We can consider that. You can. I don't know. Like ice. <laughs> I mean, I like chewing ice. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> oh, what are we seeing? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I was like, is it a shark? What's our estimated time to surface? Twenty-three minutes, according to the computer. Twenty-three. Twenty-three minutes. I've got twenty-three minutes of airspace to fill. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a scary proposition, especially because this is my first blue water of the expedition. Oh. I don't know minerals. I'll probably say like the quartz and stuff, like the crystals. Yeah. Ooh, or so. that's a good um, one. So I'm, do you have like a, the the quartz amethyst. beds? Um, I have. I don't know. I don't know. Well, it's more so my aunt, she's more so into crystals and stuff like that. So she kind of just gives me like little crystals here and there, which yeah. she feels like, oh, yeah. oh, I feel like, you know, you've been missing <laughs> this in your uh, life. So here's this to I bring your energy. Like or, that. I don't have any so. friends like that. I want one. Can I also have a friend that's like, uh, oh, here's this aromatherapy candle because you look stressed. <laughs> that's, you need energy. That's literally my aunt. She, um... Yeah, or like if I'm oh, out I'm visiting beating. somewhere and I see like crystal shops or so, I'll go and just look and send her a video. That she's like, yeah, I need you to get me that one, that <laughs> one, <laughs> that one. So she's like, and then get you one for yourself. <laughs> so, oh, my gosh. Um, the craziest so one yeah. I've been to was we went to like, um, you know, like one of those girlfriend parties. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, and we all went around and everybody had to like, choose a crystal and hold on to it for the evening and be like, I need this black crystal gives me confidence. This pink crystal will send me love. That was like the most interesting one I've been to. And I was like, I am never going to throw shade on anybody. I was like, <laughs> I will, I will, I need to hold all the crystals. One, one for money, one for love, one for confidence, one for like determination, all of them. Yeah. Give me all your powers, crystals. Um, it just popped up like on my photo memory. Actually, why it's funny why I said quartz because um, uh, two years ago I was in Texas visiting my family and um, they had like a little in the mall like a little shop crystals and I show my aunt <laughs> and so she had me get the quartz crystal which is like clear mm -hmm. and it basically enhances the crystalline properties of blood, body, and mind. So it just basically like. I know it's like gives you energy or so. 
Maybe that's why I'm so energetic because on our ranch we have a, an outcropping of quartz. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, it's so cool because it's this red dirt and you'll be, it's the middle of a hot summer day and you just see this one little area of the farm just like shimmering and it's all these crystals, these quartz down there. And it's so cool to like pull uh, them up. Did see Mike, I think. But also I'm a very energetic person. <laughs> With the exception of last night. Oh my gosh, last yeah. night I was dragging. <laughs> and now I'm all pepped up, ready to go. <laughs> Someone says, no, you can't water. Doesn't count as a mineral elbow. <laughs> Loopy, what are you doing over on the, the comms? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're trying something new. <laughs> oh my god! I guess because everyone else is leaving, so they just oh, kind of like me and you. Okay. Yeah, so they shifted like the camera. Um, so I'm like viewing your screen of the call. Can we have like a morning show, like <laughs> Luffy and Katie in the morning? I think so. That'd be a great show. <laughs> break out our break out our coffee mug <laughs> and be like, "Good day, America. Welcome to Luffy and Katie's morning show, where yeah. we talk about." And I wish Water I could, being I wish I could being see my mug. It has a bunch of Nautilus stickers <laughs> <laughs> of Herc and everything. I like our, I like those stickers that they gave us. Yes. My biggest complaint, though, I totally have a complaint. My Drick sticker would not come off. The, of the red one? Yes. Yeah, they said it was a, um, a printer mishap. So no, I was think, very sad. I think Deborah said that she has. Uh, like the corrected ones. But does um, she have them on board? Yeah, that, I, I can't remember. Try that at 18 again. <laughs> Where are we at? Okay, we... S Bam. Oh, so we need to have Deb up here for the Loopy Katie morning show. Because Deb's got the best, sweetest radio voice. Really? Yeah, it comes off as being like <laughs> so... I don't, like, I don't know how to describe it, like... I want it to read me children's books <laughs> while I fall asleep. I say it like Deb's voice is an it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. Dwight just switched it, so I was like, reading comments. <laughs> oh, Dwight. And we were answering some of them. Like, I answered when they asked about one of the anemones um, making it back to shore or back to the boat, please. Ooh, I see a whole bunch of questions about fossils. What was going on in the fossil conversation? Um, they was asking, have we ever um, found fossils like within the rock samples and um, the megalodon too? Someone mentioned, I guess, uh, from yesterday's watch or so, or earlier's watch. They someone said they noticed a fossil, but nobody um, here called it out or said anything or mentioned it so we were all like oh well, they haven't mentioned it to us but i don't know they yeah. got a, they got a screenshot of it <laughs> yeah we have found um last year we found the megalodon tooth really oh my gosh yeah it was so cool so google search it real quick and for those at home google search the megalodon tooth from the ev novelist so it's kind of, uh, there should be some scientific papers coming out later this year or possibly next year. So um, kind of an agreement is that you have, to, Nautilus will give you like two years to publish a paper. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it's anybody, up to anybody who wants it. Oh, wow. So this is, yeah, so check that out. Oh. It's so big. So they found it around, if I'm remembering cor correctly, around Papahanaumokuakea. So you got Google on, so you can help me out with this. But it is one of the, it is the oldest, if not, one of the oldest, if not the oldest, and it was found outside of what was supposed to be their normal range. Mm -hmm. So like around the Gulf, uh, we found tons of them. In fact, one of my students was walking on the beach earlier this year and found one, like a massive one. Oh, um, wow. So we always thought they like shallow, warm waters and the Gulf, uh, what it looked like, you know, back when it was like that little know, ocean highway going down the middle of America. Yeah. Okay, I can hear you now on there. I don't know why. It's like... We've been having that issue like all during the night. Like all of a sudden somebody's like, hey, you're coming in really loud. You're coming in really soft. Are you on SPL? <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Seeing this too. 
Aren't those so cool? Yes. So we always, yeah, we always thought they just like the warm, shallow water. So to find one so deep, it's making us kind of rethink uh, megalodon biology. So I'm interested to see some of the papers that come out later on. All right, Loopy, since you are a huge fan of crystals, or at least your friends are, are there mm -hmm. fossils that you enjoy as well? Um, I am a big dinosaur nerd. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite? Please so, do not say T-Rex. Um, no, it's the Velociraptor. Ooh. Um, yes, I... Um, I have every last movie of, from Jurassic Park, the first all the way to the very new one that just came no, out. No, the have, new one is horrible. So I, sorry if I am offending anybody's opinions online. Um, but the I latest, will say, I, I agree. It, it wasn't bad, but it was like, it could have been better compared to like the other ones. Oh, it was so but, god um, So bad. Just like everybody was like, whoa, whoa, with their hand out. Yeah. But, um, no, I absolutely love all the Jurassics. I have, like, the whole movie collection on DVD at <laughs> that. Like, so, um. The first three. Yeah. first three is so good. Mm hmm I really did. Like, um, number two. Meh. But the first one and the third one, oh. Yeah. So cool. Um, I enjoyed Jurassic World. The first one? The first Jurassic World? Mm -hmm. I did too. And then Second Fallen one. Kingdom. Yeah, that one was, it was pretty good, but it was just like, I don't know. It was like a lot of jump scares for me. <laughs> I hated it. Gosh, I was like, this is a. Yeah. Uh. And then this very last one was like. Uh, it was a two hour chase movie. Yeah. Like, and it made no sense when you think about it. I was like, is this Fast and Furious with dinosaurs? <laughs> pretty much. Like, all we were missing was a bald dude to, like, <laughs> jump the dinosaurs and do a 360 in the car. That's all it was. It's like, instead of him, you just had, um, what's his name? Chris, Chris Pratt. Pine. Yeah. yeah. You just had Chris Pratt doing all oh, that. Oh, Chris Pratt, yeah. <laughs> God. That movie was such a hoot. <laughs> like, just, that was one of those mornings where you just wake up and... <laughs> You just sit on your couch. You know, like those lazy mornings where you just wake up and you're like, I'm not going to move from my couch today. Yeah. Yeah, we put that on. And like by the end of it, we're like, maybe we do need to move. Maybe we need to get out. That was pretty bad. <laughs> okay, so my favorite is the Quetzalcoatlus dinosaur. It was like a flying dinosaur that kind of defies physics where it was so massive. Yeah, you see them? Oh, wow. Yeah, so they're absolutely massive. So they should not be allowed to fly, right? So mm -hmm. what scientists think is that they live near cliffs and that they would have to like take a running jump off a cliff and like go straight down wow. <laughs> before the, the wind would catch their wings. But they're so big and they're so weird. They look like a giraffe crossed with a pterodactyl. <laughs> and so they're from like um, my parts of Texas and mm -hmm. yeah, they're just so neat. I say, yeah, that is amazing. So the largest mountain in Texas, and clearly Texas is known for its mountains, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Everybody comes from all over the world to climb the Texas mountains, move over Rockies. <laughs> um, but so the largest mountain in Texas is actually Guadalupe Peak, and uh -huh, or Guadalupe my Mountain, right? My and name is Guadalupe. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and it's actually an entire coral reef bed. Oh, wow. And it's so crazy because it's way out in the West Texas desert. So desert, 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 ginormous mountain. And it's uh, an old coral reef that just built up. So when you're at the top of this mountain, um, super scary, by the way, because the winds are just like howling and there's no, <laughs> ways, no place for you to hold on. So you're just like, I was crawling on my hands and knees. I was so scared the wind <laughs> was just going to knock me off the edge. Uh, but you can see all the corals, like, and it's just beautiful fossilized coral, the whole thing. So that neat. sounds like a beautiful place to visit. It is. I I summited the mountain on Christmas Eve last year. Mm -hmm. Super cool. 
and I did it on Christmas Eve because I was like, nobody else is going to be up here except for <laughs> me and my crazy self. <laughs> so uh, me and my now fiance started like climbing up it and going from sea level to like 9,000 feet of elevation. That should not be done on a human body. Like, mm. so he had to give up like midway up the slope which i never tell anybody because i'm like we both made it <laughs> but i'm like no no he did not um <laughs> and it was because of like altitude sickness mm -hmm. and then i kept going but it was like every step i would have to sit there and catch my breath and i was like what is wrong with me <laughs> like am i that out of shape i can't make this journey <laughs> and again it was just the altitude stuff yeah. Yeah, I'd be wanting to climb and stuff, but I'm also, I'm scared of heights, so. <laughs> you're scared of heights? Yeah. Okay, so what kind of heights? Like, all heights? Like, when you're at the top of a building? Tell me tell me more about this height thing. So, I, I don't know. I guess, like, when I'm really, like, far, just really high, like, on, like, I don't know, if a hotel is, like, I'm probably like on the 20th floor, so uh -huh. I'm just like looking down off the balcony. It's scary. Like, it's, I don't know. It just depends. Um, I don't do, like, I'll get on roller coasters and stuff, but it's like most of the time my eyes are closed because I know I'm high up in the air. <laughs> I um, fully understand. Roller coasters scare yeah. the, the patootie out of me. <laughs> oh, but I still love them. The um, huge roller coasters. I would say, yeah, I, I love them, so I'll get on them. My eyes would just be closed the whole time, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll get on it <laughs> for the thrill. But, um, yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I don't know. Like, I'll do stuff where that has, like, where I'm high or whatever, like, up in the air and stuff, but it's just, like. Your eyes have to be closed the whole time. Yeah, it's, like, I'm still, like, I'm shaking a little bit, but it's, like, I'll still do it. <laughs> so what about skydiving? I would never. <laughs> I would never. <laughs> I was um, talking to Jules about that yesterday. She was like, a friend wants me to go skydiving. And I'm like, do it. I'll do it with you. I would never. Um, I wish you guys the best of luck, but I would <laughs> not. Um, in Tennessee, they have this thing called the slingshot. I mean, oh I'm pretty gosh, sure yes. they have it somewhere everywhere, else. Everywhere, everywhere, yeah. But um, I, a friend when we were in high school, convinced me to get on it. And, uh -huh. yeah, no, never again. <laughs> I am too chicken for that thing. <laughs> like, I cannot do it. Honestly, now that I think about it, it honestly wasn't that bad as I made it seem like it was at the time. But I did, like, pass out, like, oh my three gosh. times. Holy sweet Because I was, like, so terrified of it. And, um... But it honestly wasn't that bad. It was a beautiful view, like, once you got up there anyway, so... But yeah, this, I, this coming from the person that's afraid <laughs> of heights, it was a beautiful view. Yeah, it was it was a beautiful view of Tennessee, and then it was like late at night, so like all you saw the lights Ooh. and stuff. So it was beautiful, but it was just like, yeah, I'm like I'm ready to get down though. <laughs> <laughs> so what part of Tennessee was this in? Like Nashville area? Yes, yeah, so it was like just in Nashville. Um, cool. Do they have like a Six Flags over there? Mm. I know Missouri has a sick flag. No, I don't think Nashville does. They they're mainly known for like uh I would say they more so have like water parks. Okay. Um, like the Great Wolf Lodge and stuff. Oh my it's sweet like Heavenly a, Father, Great Wolf Lodge. Um I have very strong opinions on that place mm -hmm. that I should not share over the years. I have never been. I've looked at it and wanted to go. But I have never been. Um, I really want to go to Dollywood. I love Dolly. I, wanna, I yes. love Dolly Parton. Oh my gosh, who does <laughs> not love Dolly? I love Dolly Parton. So <laughs> I want to go to Dollywood so bad. I, uh, <laughs> I just want everybody to like go to school <laughs> in the great philosophy of Dolly Parton. I but. would love to because I love her. <laughs> I okay. So I want to go there so bad. It is on my bucket list of things to do, mm -hmm. and I kind of want to do it while she's still alive. Yeah, same. I I just want to meet her in general. I don't <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to talk to her at all. I would just freeze up. That or I would just give her a big hug, and I wouldn't be able to release my hug. I'd be like, I I can't let you go, Dolly. Yeah, that part. I probably would like see her and be like, hi, and then just give her a hug, and it's like that's it. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. 
what is your one of your favorite songs by her or so? Good Lord. <laughs> There's so many. I love, okay, so one of her very first ever records that she put out, like way, way, way back in the day, mm -hmm. it was, she hasn't come out right and said it, but it was like her showing her feminist roots. And mm -hmm. even though she denies kind of being a feminist, I'm like, Dolly, you are. Um, <laughs> but it was about like a single teenage mom. Uh, back mm -hmm. in the 1960s mm -hmm. and it's like it was just done so beautifully in a way that's that was not seen at the time and still to this day is not seen that often yeah yeah and uh, like that's that spoke to me like oh here's this teenage mom living in a small town rural south like what do you do anyway really really cool it's one of my favorites it's so beautiful and now I can't even remember the name of it <laughs> I'm trying to think, but I don't know the name. Yeah. Um, most of the time, I'll be playing Jolene. Oh, <laughs> Jolene. Um, it's I so funny. I think high school uh, English, I had to, For um, they told us to, like, pick a song or, like, oh. a poem or so that we wanted to talk about and what was the meaning. And I think I chose Jolene as the oh. song, as the song oh in the meeting. <laughs> so I like wrote a whole page about it. <laughs> All the deep thoughts about Jolene. Yes, this is what she meant. This is what <laughs> she also could have meant. <laughs> it was like everything as to why this song was written. <laughs> <laughs> and why it was such a good song. Oh, girl, the deepness. <laughs> So, like, when we were seniors in high school, we have to make, like, a senior poster board. Mm -hmm. So they give you, like, a poster board, and you have to put, like, do you remember the old school collaging? Yes. Like, the <laughs> 2000s. Let me decoupage and collage everything. <laughs> so all of us, like, we're reading in our Cosmo magazines and, like, our um, y printing off all kinds of pictures, and it was supposed to be, like, a reflection of us. So we had to put, what is a, a song that really just kind of defines you as a human being at age 18, senior in high school. And I look back on that song and I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> how could anybody, like, it was just like, oh, <laughs> such an 18 year old millennial song. I'm like, corn was definitely not the song that embodied me. <laughs> oh, hi, look at that little friend. Yeah, I couldn't even tell you what little friend that is. There it is, look. Oh, That's wow. some little squiddies, or a squid inking. Oh, we're seeing some squid action. And yes, whoever said Loopy loves Jolene, I <laughs> do. I absolutely do. So as we start getting shallower, we're going to start being able to hopefully see some shark action. Uh, so... The bright lights are going to start drawing in the squid. The squid are going to be followed by the mahi-mahi or the El Dorado, uh, which are then going to get followed by hopefully some sharks. But the last 50 meters or so, that is when we will be all silent on SPL. So don't look for us for shark commentary. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Oh. Ah. It was my mom who said, Loopy <gasps> loves Jolene. Oh, that's so sweet. Hi. Oh, look at the squid, Hi. little bud. Oh, there's so many of y'all. <gasps> look at you all inking. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're terrifying you. Oh, there's another one. Uh-oh. Oh, sad day. Sad day. <laughs> oh. Well, maybe we'll draw on the sharks more like that. <laughs> they are not happy. a lot. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Poor babies. Sorry, they little friends. They are not happy that we are... <laughs> coming through <laughs> no <laughs> yeah 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 shark bait hoo -ha. maybe can we put like a little horn on the on the hercules like a little beep beep oh, by the way we're loud enough <laughs> oh there it is oh. Whoa.
keeping my eyes peeled for a second one. Yeah, you can still see the little squid. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, oh, look. Oh. That one's closer. And it's got like a. It's the pilot fish Yeah, with it. pilot yeah. fish up on top. No, come this way, come into the come camera. Back. Come back, friend. Let us see you. <laughs> Okay, we got another squid nearby. Oh, there wow. he is! Wow! Look at, him. Look at the fishes with him. It would be absolutely epic to watch him eat. Whoa! All right, so for those listening, we have reached 50 meters. Time for me to hop off of SBL. It looks like it's a bit off to starboard of the A-frame at the moment. We're coming over. Measure that. Van Deck Hercules is in between the goalposts. Roger. We're 
Pitch Control Van. Go ahead. Can we reduce stress to 25%? Roger. Twenty-five now. Good copy. Bridge control van. Go ahead. Can we increase thrust to 90% and start moving forward at point one knot? Roger. Thank you.
damage control van. Can we reduce speed to 0 0.1 knot? 0 0.1 knot, okay. Thank you. Van, back deck. Herc is 20 meters from this transom. Roger. Deck control van. For deck. Uh, we are reducing speed, but we're still moving at about 0.5 knots. Roger that. Uh, if you could have the bridge go ahead and come to a hold station. Bridge control van. Go ahead. Can we hold position here? Okay. Roger. Thank you. Van deck, Hercules, ransom. Roger. And uh, Hercules is clear of the water. Roger. Control van deck. Go ahead. Uh, the power is secured. Roger.